You probably have heard of automation tools, but I bet you've never seen anything like this before. Let's take a look. So here in front of me, I have Elon Musk Twitter profile. And if I want to add people's profiles directly to our Notion CRM, I can right click on the profile and click save to Notion. Joe Rogan, let's save him to the CRM and Notion. Ethereum, let's go, save to Notion. Here we have the all in podcast save to Notion. And just like this, I can go to our Notion database with the favorite Twitter profiles and all of the information is already there. Hello, I'm Renat and today I'm about to show you how to build right-click automations right from your browser. So what's such a big deal? If you think about what you do on your computer at the end of the day, about 30% of your workflows are actually manual. That's juggling tabs, copy pasting information and using multiple apps and switching between them. We're going to be using the no-code workflow automation tool called Bardeen to help you leverage yourself. And let's build our very first automation. We're going to pick something really simple. We're going to tweet a link when you write click on one. So here right in front of me, I'm on Twitter and I'm going to go to Notion over here and I want to tweet something. I want to tweet somebody's profile. So by now you should probably have Bardeen installed. You can go down to the description below to get the extension downloaded. And here I have Bardeen. Just like this, you can expand it to the bigger view and click on create out of book. So the first action we're looking for is called when I right click on the website, on the website, and then you will need to give your automation a name. So we're going to call it tweet this. Okay. And it's going to be available everywhere. Hit done. And this is the trigger. When you right click on the website, the option in the menu is going to show up. Now let's add another action, new action, and let's pick Twitter from the list. Here we have Twitter, create tweet with text, and then we can get information from our trigger. So when you right click on something, there is additional information that's captured. There are two types of things that we capture. It's the URL and the anchor text. So here, let's pick the URL and the URL will be tweeted when we trigger the automation. So hit save and let's call this automation. Tweet this just like that. Hit save, close the builder and we need to enable this out of book so that the option actually shows up. And I want to disable another right click automation so that it's a little bit cleaner. You can have as many as you want at the end of the day. So Bardeen works where you do in your browser. You can open it with a shortcut option B. You can open it from pretty much anywhere in your browser and not only in your browser, but here we have our notion page. So if I want to tweet a link, for example, we have the browser company, Rome research. Let me tweet Rome research. I'm going to right click and hit tweet this. And Bardeen is going to capture that URL and make a tweet on my behalf. So it was already tweeted. Let's go to my profile, hit home, navigate to my profile. And just like this, the tweet with the URL was published. I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to show you that it works pretty much on any link. So we can go to figure out who John Bardeen is. So let's go to John Bardeen. He's the guy who went, who won two Nobel prizes. And if you want to learn a little bit more about him, you can go to Wikipedia. So it's a great share for me. I'm going to right click here, hit tweet this. And just like this, another tweet was made. So let's go back to my Twitter profile. Let's refresh. Whoa. How cool is that? So a tweet has been made. It's that easy. Okay, now we have figured out how to build easy stuff with a trigger and an action. Let's go an extra mile to build something a little bit more complicated. For example, if you want to add people to Notion, to Airtable, to Google Sheets with one click, here is exactly how to do this. So let's go to LinkedIn actually and let's build the automation that is going to save somebody's profile with a right click. In order for us to do this, we're going to open the builder with a shortcut. Let's do 
option B and let's create a new automation. Here is our builder. And then we're going to add that trigger. When I right click on the website, let's give it name LinkedIn to sheets. That's one of my favorites actually. And let's make this option visible everywhere. Meaning that everywhere you where you right click, you're going to see that option. All right, the next thing we're going to do is this. We're going to actually extract information from a LinkedIn profile. Option B, let me collapse this and imagine this is the information we want to extract. So Berdeen has something that's called the data scraper. It allows you to specify which areas of the website that you want to capture information from. For example, for my use case, I want to grab the name, I want to grab the current company, the description and some extra information. So I'm going to open the builder once again, option B and add the scrape action. So new action, scrape, and let's scrape data in the background. In the background means that a new page is going to open up in the background is going to be collapsed and the information is going to be extracted from there. So you need to open a page in order for the information to render so that you can actually capture this. You can do this on the active tab, meaning the currently open tab, or you can do this in the background. In the background is way better because you actually can keep going and keep doing what you were doing before. So scrape data in the background and let's get that URL from the trigger, from the element that we clicked on. So here we have the URL variable and I can extract information from the page. So here we have different pre-built scraper templates that I have created in the past. If you want to learn a little bit more about data scraping, you can see another video that I'm going to link in the description below. But here, let's create a very simple scraper template. So here, create a scraper template and let's pick this single page scraper. Let's give it a name. Let's call it LinkedIn start building and you can just click on the element that you want to extract. Let's get the name element. Let's get the get more fields. So some of the fields that not display in the body of the page, but they're there. For example, here's the current page URL. So page URL, let's get the company name. Let's get the tagline and let's get the description. Boom, just like this, I have some fields that I'm interested in collected already and I'm going to save this template. So there we have it. I'm going to click on done. And finally, we'll have the third action that adds the information that was just scraped to Google Sheets. So let's add new action, pick Google Sheet. And here we can add the table row to a Google Sheet. You can pick a Google Sheet. And here I've just created a new Google Sheet called LinkedIn Prospects. I'm going to find it over here, LinkedIn. Here we have it, LinkedIn Prospects. And I'm going to map the data from the previous action to this action. Just like this, click on done, save the playbook, call it LinkedIn Sheets. Cleaned up a bit, hit save, close the builder, enable this automation, and let's go and add some information to this spreadsheet. As you can see, the spreadsheet is empty. So if I want to add Artem, the co-founder of Bourdin, to that spreadsheet. Here we have Bourdin, and you can pick that LinkedIn to Sheets option. So a page is going to open up in the background and the information is going to get extracted and edited right into the spreadsheet. Watch the magic happen. Isn't this insane? And just like this, you can add anybody else that you want. Right click, let's go Bardeen, LinkedIn to Sheets, and another person is going to be added. Okay, well, if you're hiring, this is going to be an amazing time saver. We're hiring, so I'm going to show you how I would do this. You can type marketing keyword over here in LinkedIn, and let's go people. And if you find somebody interesting, you can just, again, right click, and let's save this person to our spreadsheets. Let's do another person just like that. Boom. Another one. Bam, bam. You found somebody interesting? One click. And here we have all of the information, literally just like that.
And here comes a bonus automation, one of my favorites. We're going to be saving website screenshots directly to Google Drive. So right here in front of me, I have an interesting page. Say I'm doing research for SaaS websites or SaaS pricing pages, and I want to have a repository of all cool websites and all of my competitors. So right click and let's upload to Drive. So Bardeen is going to scroll through the page and it's going to create a screenshot that will be edited just like this to Google Drive. So here I have the folder open. It's called my PDFs. Let's double click on this PDF. And there we have it. Our entire page beautifully extracted from there. That's it. And by the way, if you had Bardeen installed before, you could have created a right click automation to share this video on Twitter. Just saying, subscribe to this channel and I'm going to see you in the next video.